Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of Fox and Fix It. And today, we've got a wheel cylinder to replace. Let's get to it. All right, so here we are. This one's our leaker. As you can see, it's wet on the outside. There's some fluid dripping underneath. So we gotta get this brake drum off. Get this brake drum off on these early Hondas. This is before they had the screws that sort of press it off. You take the dust cap off and you actually pull the wheel bearing off and that'll get everything off there. Make sure the, the spins first. You don't have an emergency brake hung up. That happens, you'll never get it off. So it's free spinning. We should be able to get this off. Caps off. We're gonna have one cotter pin right here it's on it. That's not always nice. There we go. Pop that cotter pin up and out. And you've got sort of like that locking nut cover sheet metal castle piece. And you've got the nut, which you should be able to just take some slip joint pliers and get it off there. It shouldn't be horribly tight. There we go. Horribly tight is a bad thing as well. That'll ruin bearings in a second. It should be snug threads. There we go. And you've got a washer in here, but the easiest way to get that one is sort of wiggle. Get the washer will come out with your outer bearing. They look to be in pretty decent shape. Lots of grease still. The drum should come right off and we'll see our bad guy. There we go. Inner wheel bearing is in here with the seal. We can leave that alone for now. Those aren't really bad. As you can see, everything in here is soaking wet. It's uh, probably ruined these shoes, although it's only been a day, we might be able to save them, but that's gotta come out of there. That's our bad guy. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and break these loose. We've got two nuts that hold it on. They're tens. Okay. Nuts that hold the wheel cylinder on. They're tens. Get these loosened up and then we'll get the line off once we know we can get these nuts loose. You definitely don't want to take this all the way off and then try to get the line off because you'll just be fighting it the whole time. Trying to hold the wheel cylinder in place and the line and everything like that. That's just no good. So we'll get this off of there get everything all fixed up all right so those are loose let's see if we can get this line loose it is also a 10 so so far 10 millimeter wrench we'll take a wheel cylinder off awfully tight though uh, is that rounding or is it actually moving might just be rounding right now yeah i'm rounding that okay well we're going to be going to vice grips earlier than i thought it's okay it's never too early for vice grips There we go. Make sure it's not twisting the line. That's completely separate from the fitting. Now we can go back to our tin and not damage this anymore. Now I don't want to lose any more fluid than I have to, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a snug vacuum fitting on the end of this hose. There we go. Just like that. No more fluid dripping. We'll be fine. Put that up out of the way quarter inch drive with a 10 mil socket to get to these now instead of just a wrench there we go finding a room for everybody yep we're definitely loose all right back to the front side all right now all i have to do is expand these shoes enough to get the wheel cylinder out of here shouldn't be too hard if i say that that'll probably end up being the hardest part no, there's one. There's two. Almost ish. There we go. Wheel cylinder out. Alrighty. There's our old one. There's our new one. Do they match? Eh, for the most part, pretty much. Yep, should be good. Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the cap on here because I don't need to take that off yet. I'm gonna leave the cap on here so I don't get dirt down in here as I'm trying to shove it through there. Then we'll clean everything up later. These little wheel cylinder pistons do have to be turned the right way, though. They need to be vertical. Get onto the shoes. That's one. And just go ahead and get as much dirt on this as possible so that your brakes don't think you're putting a new part on, and maybe it'll make it go easier. They're like, hey, it's our old friend, the leaker. Just perfect. Yep, yep, nothing wrong here, everybody. Same guy. No cause for alarm. See? Made it much easier. Just 
dirty that up so everything else thinks that that's the old one. Alrighty. We'll put the nuts back on here. The back side. Again, 10 millimeter. I'll just leave you out front. You don't need to see me play with my nuts. Alright, those are back on. Ta da! Save that for later. You can use it as a vacuum cap uh, or other seals for things. Speaking of vacuum caps, don't forget to take the one back off this line. It's going to leak immediately. Put your thumb over that, put it in place, and start threading. Make sure you don't cross thread this. It's aluminum. It'll cross thread in a heartbeat. And you'll be really, 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 really mad. Alrighty, that's tight. Uh, now we just got to brake clean the crap out of this and put it back together. This is the part where all these other parts are suddenly going to recognize that guy's new and they may complain a bit. It's okay. It's there. It's not going anywhere. There's nothing they can do to stop you now. Surprise! Uh, shoes look like they may live to fight another day. For now. Probably not. You should probably replace these shoes. But I don't have any right now. So, well, I'm wearing shoes. I mean, I don't have any more brake shoes right now. But... Honestly, it just happened last night, and I drove about five miles like that with it leaking, so it might not be too soaked. They don't look glazed or anything. Not too bad. It, it'll be fine. I think I've talked myself into that already. Now, you can pack bearings by hand, but if you've got the nice little compressive bearing packer thingy, just use that. It's going to take less time. It's going to be a lot better for everybody. We're going to start by putting some extra grease back on here. Everything will be happy about. Look at that. Nice. I don't even know if this is the right kind of grease. It looks like it's medium to high temperature. I don't know. It's tan. What does tan mean? I don't know. You know, we got to spray out this drum too. Yeah, close enough. All right. Slip that back on there. Perfect. There we go. Fresh grease all the way through. Boom. Done. Well, you know what? We'll even add some to the inside here. That's fine. Okay. Great. Next, washer goes back on. Boom, just like that. And that goes on. When you get the hand snug, we're going to go back to here. And we're going to get a snug plus a quarter on this. Oh. And now I'm going to back it back off. Not like that. Maybe a little more. Yeah, that's about right. Then we go with our sheet metal little lock nutty thingy. Get yourself a new cotter pin or something because you just broke the old one. See, always use a new one. Don't trust these. Go ahead and get your new cotter pin. It's not going to break on you. Slide it in there. I don't know the actual correct method. Maybe it's just a preference or a regional preference. I don't know. Uh, should the legs of this cotter pin when you bend them come up and over the end of this spindle? Or should you wrap them around the side? For today's purposes, just to maybe create an argument, I'm going to wrap around the side. I really don't care. I've never had one come off doing it either way. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of additional grease into this dust cap before we throw it on. And because I've got it sitting here, so I might as well fill that back up. Throw it on there. And there we go. All right, so I think a pretty simple process. Um, like I said, that's probably the same on lots of Hondas all the way into the 90s. I'm not really sure. I'm not a real big Honda guy, but well, I'm not a real big guy in general. But, you know, five, six. Great. Uh, but that's it. It's pretty simple. So if you got a wheel cylinder, it's not the end of the world. Parts are cheap. $16 wheel cylinder. You can do it yourself. We'll see you next time. I almost forgot. Yes, you have to bleed this wheel cylinder now. I've covered that in another episode, so I'm not going to do it here. Okay, that's it. See you next time. <laughs>